Hey guys, this is Miss Harlequin, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at our academic vocabulary words from our next um, text, which is the excerpt from The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your vocabulary sheet, and if you look at the left column, you're going to see our vocabulary words. And underneath each word, you have the numbers that you can use to rate your prior knowledge of the word. So again, I want to remind you that do not look at the actual definitions, even though they are on your vocabulary sheet already. You really want to just rate whether or not you know the word just by looking at it without being given the definition or without looking at it within a sentence. If you just saw this word alone, like we see them on the screen in front of us, do you know the word? If we were in class and Miss Harlequin called on you and said, what does it mean to be prosperous? Would you be able to explain? So our rating, once again, is on a scale of one through four. One, you've never seen or heard the word before. Two, you've seen or heard it, but you don't know what it means. Three, you know it, you can define it. So you would definitely raise your hand if I asked what the word meant. Four, you know it, you use it, you're an expert. You're going to tell Ms. Arlquin, sit down, I'm going to teach this class right now. I got this. I know this word. Our first word is dazzle. Second is assorted. Third is prosperous. Fourth is queer. Fifth is manner. And the sixth word is meek. All right, now make sure you have your vocabulary sheet in front of you. As we go through each of the vocabulary words, you might want to consider writing down any additional example sentences that I give within the video, but that aren't on your sheet. And if we discuss anything else you want to know about the word, like parts of the word family or synonyms, you might want to jot those down. Our first word is dazzle. Dazzle is a verb. If you are dazzling somebody or if you are being dazzled, it means that you're unable to see because of a bright light. The reflection on the sun, of the sunlight on the lake could dazzle anybody. In other words, if you're being dazzled in a way, you are being blinded. But it's very specific. You're not being blinded because somebody punched you in the eye and you can't see. You're being blinded specifically because of a bright light. Sometimes people talk about having a dazzling personality. When they have a dazzling personality, that's a more figurative use of the word. You're not literally saying that your personality is a light, but your personality is bright like a light, and it's almost as if somebody can't see because you're just too much. Your personality is like, whoa. Our next word is assorted. Assorted is an adjective that means many different kinds. So a lot of times the word assorted will be paired up with the word variety. There are assorted varieties, many different types of things. Staring at the assorted candies, the many different kinds of candies, Jason couldn't decide which to choose. Now, assorted also can be used as a noun, except that when you use it as a noun, you actually take the word assort and you add the suffix ment. When you have an assortment of things, it means you have a wide variety of things, a lot of different kinds of things. So an assortment is a thing that you talk about. I have an assortment of Barbie dolls. I have an assortment of teddy bears. One of the things I love about Harry Potter is the wide assortment of characters throughout the series. There are so many different types. All right, our next word is prosperous. Prosperous is an adjective that means successful or thriving. So you would use this word to describe a person or a thing. Um, if somebody is prosperous, it could be they're prosperous because of money. They could be prosperous for other things. You might consider yourself a prosperous person if you have a large family. If that was always your goal and you achieved that goal, then you have been successful. Carla's business was so prosperous, she had to hire an assistant. It was so successful. It was so thriving. Again, something that's thriving is something that's being very successful. It's Achieving when a plant is thriving, it has um, very green leaves, a lot of leaves. If it's a flower, the flower is in bloom, it's thriving, it's successful. Now, there's also the verb form of the word prosperous to prosper. And to prosper basically just means to succeed. In Star Trek, 
A popular line that many fans like to repeat to each other is live long and prosper. Live long and be successful or succeed. All right, our next word is queer. Queer is an adjective that means very strange or odd. Brian could tell the milk was spoiled because of its queer taste, its strange taste. Now, the word queer is kind of an old-fashioned word. It's used a lot more in the 1800s and early 1900s. Nowadays, people don't really use this word when they want to say something is strange. In fact, the word queer in modern times is associated with the gay and lesbian movement. A lot of times, people will refer to somebody who is gay as queer. Although, you might not want to use this word to refer to somebody that way. Some people find it offensive. It was an orig originally associated with um, being gay because it means strange. And to some people in the past who weren't gay, they saw that as something that's strange. Nowadays, though, we want to be a little bit more politically correct, and so we want to kind of stay away from that word if we can. Our next word is manner. Manner is an adjective, and it basically just means the way something occurs or is done. So this is why when we talk about our manners, if we have good or bad manners, our manners are the way we do something. Having good manners means you do them the right way. Having bad manners means you do it the wrong way. The ambulance sped through the city in a rapid manner. That's the way they did it, in a rapid way. So even though it doesn't mean the exact same thing as way, way is a pretty close synonym. So when you use the word manner in a sentence, if you could replace the word manner with the word way, then you've pretty much used the word correctly. You can talk again about somebody's manner. That's the way they behave. The young girl's manner was so sweet and polite that everyone enjoyed being around her. So the young girl's way of behaving was so sweet and polite. And our final word is meek. Meek is an adjective that means quiet, humble, and obedient. If you are meek, you have a quiet and gentle nature or personality. A meek person would not want to fight or argue with other people. So this puppy in our picture is a very meek puppy. Because of his meek personality, the puppy rarely barked. He's very gentle. He's very quiet. All right, so now it's time to apply the new vocabulary words to your own sentences. You've got sentence frames up on the screen that you can choose to use if you would like to. You don't have to. However, I do also want to remind everybody that when we write our sentences, we want to think about the five W's, particularly the why and the how. If you can answer why and how in your sentence, you're probably going to have some good details that are going to help explain the vocabulary word and give context clues.